once you understand what this world is about and that our reality might as well be an illusion, you lose your ability to participate kindly in many things, especially holidays. Memorial Day is no exception to this, and by definition, Memorial Day is a federal holiday for honoring and mourning the military personnel who have died while serving in the United States Armed Forces, and I'm not sure how many other countries have similar holidays and, you know, what their thoughts are on this, uh, but the hardest thing to get past is the sacrifice that military members make despite being a part of the system. You know, being a part of any branch of military service is like an automatic button for praise. It's like an appeal to authority viewed as honorable, respectful, like you're doing the noblest task imaginable. And it really is a topic few people want to talk about, you know, due to being crucified for saying anything remotely negative about the military. And a lot of this stuff is, is so sad, it, it breaks my heart, or, or at least what I think is left of my heart, and I, it's, it's very upsetting to think of the possibility that th these men and women have given their lives for a false cause. That the rich people, the elite that run this world, use the military to enact their agendas and that, you know, the, the glory created around being a member of the military, you know, it is a very powerful tool, you know, being used to shut up any negativity. You know, if you build such a strong sense of pride and belief in uh, millions of people, despite it being a false cause, that group will surely shut everyone else up. I really don't think there's been a better Memorial Day in history to talk about this. You know, for you military members out there, how do you feel about your country right now? You guys signed a piece of paper where you were willing to give up your life for what appears to be the happiness, the well-being, the safety of your fellow Americans. You know, what is the, the ultimate thing you can do? Yet, the state of our government now, the tyranny that is being imposed with this fake nonsense, you know, it seems like something that you don't want to support. You don't want to support the government making these decisions, yet you were willing to entrust your life with the government to do the right things to protect the American people. And I've read a lot of stories and a lot of my viewers are former military members that are constantly bringing up negative experiences and it's all pretty similar. You know, how they felt they were joining for a good reason and then after a certain period of time or specific experience, they questioned what they were doing. And I guess the majority of people in the military just go with the flow, you know, a small percentage make it to the top and push the elite's agenda even harder and an even smaller percentage realize the truth and are then silenced or ridiculed. And uh, I mean, did American freedom ever exist? Uh, the idea of American freedom is certainly something that is well in the past for many people, although it seems as some people are happy they're locked in their homes like rats. And it makes you wonder how few people in this country truly have the interests and happiness of other people in their hearts. I think percentages can be applied pretty broadly here. 90% of the population in general is the sheeple. You know, 5% is the elite, you know, the bad guys trying to control everyone, or not trying, they're doing a pretty good job at it. And, you know, 5% are the good people. You know, those who realize what's actually going on and are trying their best. Of course, these are just generalizations. If I had to really guess, 85, 90% sheeple, you know, five to 8% evil ones participating in the agenda, and two to 5%, maybe even less, are, are the people that are actually doing the right thing. And, and hey, this applies to the military. You know, 90% go with the flow, 5% are excellent in their jobs and, you know, exceed what the military wants them to do. And then that smaller percentage realizes the BS that's going on and uh, we get those truthful horror stories. And uh, I'm not gonna bring up specifics or look into things as I think it would bring an overwhelming amount of negativity, but you know, 
I mean, without a doubt, there are many evil things that happen on this planet, and are the things the military has done up there? <laughs> I mean, I mean that, that's a definite, but, you know, we have to think about how we can make a positive impact, and, you know, these stories likely need to be told, and, and there are people out there doing so. I'm definitely not cut out for that part. Would these men of our past have accepted what's going on now? You know, one of my grandfathers served in the military. Many, many celebrities, famous people, successful businessmen have served in the military. And it's pretty obvious when they want everyone to know how these people were a part of the military, just like everyone else, that there's something going on. I wonder what was happening in, in the 1918 Spanish flu. I wonder how people were acting and, and responding. Were they as brainwashed as they are now? And, and it's obvious how they plaster our war heroes everywhere, that they really want to instill the idea that these people are doing good. Uh, but I, I think a lot of us, myself included, uh, don't want to face the truth. And uh, it's just too incredibly sad to think about um, you know, all of these people that you don't see and, and and those are the people that, that came back, uh, unfortunately. And uh, I'm, I just don't think I'm, <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified in any way whatsoever to talk about this, but uh, there aren't enough people speaking up. And uh, you know, this is just another part of how we've been controlled and manipulated by the higher ups of this planet. Uh, and, and you ask how many people have to suffer, how many soldiers have to die, how many men, women, and children, uh, and, and how many of them were killed by these soldiers. And I've really tried to keep this positive and not step on too many toes. Uh, but I'll bring up one important example that's been a key focus these past few weeks, few months. And these new cell towers, these new LED lamps that I look at every day that have an antenna on top that are not LED lamps. This new infrastructure is military weaponry. It's a weapon. And there are thousands of people in the military, probably tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands, that know it's a weapon. They know the dangers of these weapons. And why aren't they speaking up? Why isn't anyone telling the truth? I guess there's the brainwashing, the programming, how they get these soldiers to act and think by using fear, like the media is using now to control the American people psychological operations and that plays a big part in why most of them are silent and th there's definitely incentives too you know that police officer <laughs> that clown Greg Anderson that was allegedly fired after speaking about what's going on you know it, it was a fake message to all service personnel to keep your mouth shut or you'll lose your job and it's kind of crazy how people don't see things at face value where and that police officer was in his squad car in uniform filming a video on his cell phone, or at least I think he was. And just doing that in itself, regardless of what you're saying, is going to get you in trouble. So, you know, it really, you know, the state of fear makes it so you can't think straight. The poison in the air, the water, the food, all these things they're doing to us, these radio frequencies, make it so you can't think straight. And... You know, I'm sure a big reason many people sign those papers is because they don't have too many other options in life. And, I mean, yeah, I used to tell my parents, oh, I'm going to join the military, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, because I was, you know, I was so unhappy. I was failing in and out of community college, playing video games all day. Absolutely nothing to look forward to. And uh, yeah, I, I feel bad. You know, for the young men and women that are in these positions in life that, that feel like pressing this military button as a reset, you know, because I, I was there myself. Um, and that creates an incentive for them to not do the right thing. You know, desperate people. Um, one very simple saying is, there's always the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do in every scenario. And if you sit by and do nothing, you're doing the wrong thing. A lot of these people have, you know, those biological traits of self-preservation as their priority. And in turn, 
we have this system. So how is it that all of these people, millions, are cooperating to keep their mouth shut? Not just in the military, especially in hospitals, medical staff, every single hospital across the world, for the most part, has been completely barren, empty. They're even getting fired. You know, so these people might have thought, hey, maybe if I keep my mouth shut, I'll keep my job. Yet I can count the amount of people on one hand that have spoken up about this out of millions. How many people know? How many people know what's going on in these hospitals? How many people know about the dangers of this weaponry? No one is speaking up. Whether it's because they want to keep their job, maybe they know they can protect themselves and their family. And, uh, and then I think the overwhelming one though is, is that element of brainwashing and fear used as you know, a tool for control. Uh, you know, we can apply that you know, 90% here. You know, very likely that 90% are just going with the flow. 5% uh, are higher ups that know and understand uh, the downsides, you know, but still push the agenda further to reap the rewards of what's available on this planet. And then you know, maybe 5%, maybe less, who knows, you know, people that realize the dangers and haven't been given a platform or a voice or, you know, don't have the courage to speak out. I think deception is the word for this situation. And this day of Memorial Day is something I feel as, you know, additional reminder of that deception. You know, it's a representation of our broken system, how we're glorifying something without understanding it, without realizing how much of an appeal to authority it is. And, you know, there are plenty of resources and people saying things I'm not willing to. Uh, this guy refers to the American holiday as a bunch of Asinine bootlickers saying thanks to glorified murderers. And then listen, as much as it, it's a little silly and it's like you want to agree with that, um, no, uh, you can't say that because the level of deception, brainwashing, influence used on these people doesn't allow the situation to be that black and white. I mean, are there psychopaths that would sign up to shoot people? Absolutely, but that's not, you know, by no means is that, that applicable to to the scenario here, you know, you're not told what you're doing and why you're doing it in most aspects of this world. It's up to you to figure out along the way and determine what is right and what is wrong. And, you know, most people are just standing by and when you stand by, you're doing the wrong thing. You know, people think that by not participating, it's okay, but, <laughs> You're doing the wrong thing. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy your Memorial Day. Hopefully it gets a little bit nicer outside. Uh, I did want to thank you guys for the sale we did on organ supplements this week. It was a buy one, get one free uh, beef liver. And I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much giving stuff away at this point because uh, you know, I don't really care about money anymore. But um, I did want to thank you guys. Maybe we'll do another sale next week. Uh, I think we're going to take away the shipping cost on Frankie's Naturals for domestic shipping. And uh, I'll have the deodorant for you guys sometime this week. Uh, Frankie's Free Range Meat, full steam ahead guys. We should be in the new facility uh, within a week or two. And uh, maybe we'll have the farm later this year. And I'll be providing you guys with, uh, well, one, the best eggs on this planet. And raw dairy if you guys don't have it. So uh, we're going to make things happen. If you guys want to support me, you can check out those things down in the description below. I haven't really mentioned my book a lot lately or like my consultations and my video course, but um, the audio book should be approved really soon. I've been trying to get it approved for like four months now and they haven't been approving it. So hopefully I can get you guys the, the audio ebook for my book, uh, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. So uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, Hopefully we can spread a positive message and uh, and take things day by day. Oh, if you guys saw my community page earlier, um, I slid into Victoria's DMs. She said she has a boyfriend, but uh, I'm prettier, so we'll, we'll see what happens.